Yo, what is up, beautiful people, and welcome to a new video, and it is that time of the year again, when the Dead Road tournament comes around, and I wake up the beast inside me, and I play RuneScape for 20 hours a day if I have to, in order to be on the top uh, leaderboards uh, in the RuneScape tournament, basically. So this time around, we are competing for 32,000 American dollars. First person getting 20k, second person getting 10k, and the third and fourth place getting 1k each. And obviously this goes on for the whole week, and you can expect videos every single day, and 16 hour plus streams every single day over on twitch.tv slash Nigato79. Now that's about all for the sellout part of it. The next clip is going to me, me in the tournament, and I'm super, super excited. The plan is literally written down everything. And indeed, I'm ready, man. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos. And yeah, let's get right into it. Got myself first 10k right here. The audio was a bit scuffed because it was on the stream. I didn't mute the music, so it was all over the place. But yeah, first 10k obtained. Then I teleport back to Lumbridge, grab a starter pack and start training on the frogs. That was the initial plan. Ask for a starter pack. Also, I'm going to talk to the ranger guy. And what we're gonna do is talk about something else. And can you teach me the bait? No, can you toggle my ammo? Perfect. And also talk to the mage. Oh wait, talk about something else. Toggle my thingy. Automatically. There we go. And now this, talk about something else. This, and auto equip. That's small thing, but really important. Nice. All right, there we go. We're now teleporting to Varrock. You get one teleport with Nigel. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab ourselves an adamant sword and a Dorgishan crossbow and some Dorgishan bolts. Um, we have 10k from uh, Stronghold Security, obviously. And there it is, 30 attack, 23 strength, 11 defense right now. As I get this sword, I'll go for 30 strength, maybe get this defense to 20 real quick. Now watch this. We trade the shopkeeper, we buy ourselves the adamant sword. Beautiful. We spent, what, about 2k on that one? So I can now... Now, I'm not going to destroy the starter swords in case if I die, uh, but now we're going to make our way to the archer shop and then buy Dorgish and crossbows there, basically, uh, which is what you want to do. And then we're going to teleport back to Lumbridge and continue training. So let's see if I can get my hands on one of these bad boys. How much does that cost? Um, let's say I can afford uh, 200. Boom. I can't wield it yet, unfortunately, but that's all I wanted. Back to Lumbridge. Alright, a quick update for the YouTube. We're currently 30 attack, 30 strength, 30 defense. We're now going to go a bit harder on the strength. And we're also uh, basically getting our range up. Um, so yeah, uh, the plan is obviously 65 attack, 65 strength. And 43 prayers so I can go to the guild with about 30 defense. And then when I'm in the guild, I want to train my defense up. That's the goal. Hopefully everything works as planned. Obviously quests are completed, so I don't need to worry about that. So um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just continue training. All right, a little bit of an update for the YouTubes. We're currently on 42 attack, 49 strength, 32 prayer, and uh, now the things are a little bit more chill. People moved away. Did people are doing like other things? At least I have this whole spot for myself right now, which is really nice. I won't be giving many updates more really until I'm like 65, 65, maybe for the prayer. Um, I just need to get 43 prayer um, before I go to the guild and I think I can easily accomplish that just burning bones from the frogs So the so far everything has been going super well. Uh, we're about a solid <laughs> We're about a solid hour and a half into the whole tournament and the stats are already starting to pick up So uh, combat level 52 as we speak. Let's get the 65 65 43 and then let's get ourselves some defenders all right, here we go, a big level coming through, and there is 43 prayer. It doesn't show up on the screen until it's over level 50, um, but that's really good. Now we can really focus on that 65 attack and strength, and I don't need to bury regular bones anymore, so my XP per hour should go up here. I still don't have enough money for a dragon scimitar, unfortunately, but it's good. This is a big milestone, getting that 43 prayer out of the way, because from now on, experience per hour just goes up, because you don't really focus on picking those bones up anymore. And I can just flick my way, um, and there we go, 60, 60, five more levels in each, and then we go to the guild. All right, the final update for the YouTube before we move our way to the Warriors Guild. As you can see, there is there has been an upgrade to our gear, and there's been an upgrade to our stats. We're now 61 attack, 65 strength, 
and we now have full mithril with dragon scimitar that was all thanks to agility pyramid and the help of my friend which we were playing this uh, tournament kind of in a duo um, but yeah i'm now working on 65 attack and then after that is done we go to the warriors guild and farm defenders so far everything is really good i'm also getting my magic up to 37 i think so i can teleport to falador and then run to the guild by there because games necklaces are not buying on the ge uh, but yeah that's the plan let's get 65 attack and then finally start going for defenders and then slayer so right now everything should go through really really quickly ladies and gentlemen 65 attack and strength accomplished let's make our way to the warriors guild and uh, yeah, uh, it starts here. The fun part about Deadman mode that I really, really love getting the defenders. They actually have improved drop rate this time around. So we should be, wait, you need five agility to climb this? You kidding me? All right. We're gonna run through multi then, unlucky. Uh, but yeah, it's freaking crazy, man. Every giant that I get, I'm happy. 50, nice. 50 defense. Oh, there we go. First defender, boys. Bronze defender accomplished. Nice. All right, so what I'm doing right here is I'm getting myself a nice little pair of climbing boots after talking to Tanzik. Should be 12 coins. Climbing boots. Sounds good. Beautiful. Let's get three more. Maybe I can sell them on the G for something more. Who knows? Um, drop rates improved. RNG still hates me. Hey, no, no worries, man. There we go. See? This one took a while, but no worries, we got it. In the end, that's what matters, to get it. Poggers, Iron Defender. Uh, we are 57 defense at the moment, almost 60. Let's go. Dude, I'm gonna use that, actually. When I'm trading my ult, I'll say I'm trading my smurf. Oh, there we go, Steel Defender, boys. Nice. Nice, ooh. Black Defender boys, let's go. That one took a while, man. Poggers, nice. Okay, uh, we're almost there, man. This is halfway, I think. Mithril to go, and then Adamant and the Rune. Nice, not bad uh, at all. Perfect. Oh, baby, that is a Mithril Defender. Let's go. Nice. Only Adamant and the Rune to go to, go to the good runes, rooms, man. Mithril, Poggers. All right. Let's go. I'm actually hyped. Told you, that was like no tokens at all, like 20 or some shit. And we're gonna get a back-to-back, -back and uh, then we're smurfing. This is my favorite song from Indiana Jones. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> yes! Adam and Defender, boys! Yes! Boys! Hell yeah! Let's go! Fucking poggers! They were literally like... We're literally one of the first, I think, to be in the defender room. Like, dragon defender room. No way, dude! Let's go! I'm actually happy. Let's stack up on a couple of... Um, let's stack up on a couple of... What's, what are they called? Stack up on a few... Um, I can't even speak, man. I don't know. I'm tired. Uh, stack up on the... Uh, tokens. Tokens. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, we gotta stack up on the tokens and then hopefully get a dragon defense. So I don't know why you wouldn't get them. Let me see. My fuck. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Out of tokens. And we got it. We are freaking smurfing on this video game, dude. Let's go. Okay, yo, the stats we've accomplished getting this defender 65 attack, 74 strength, 60 defense. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do Slayer. Uh, I'm just gonna kill the Cyclopses until I get kicked out. Maybe I get another Dragon Defender. Who knows? But that is just beautiful. That is just so beautiful, man. I'm happy. I'm actually really, really happy. I'm ahead of schedule. Obviously, all the quests got auto-completed, so it's hard to not be ahead of the schedule. Um, but yo, we're balling, man. We are actually balling. And we got a lot of money from supply drops. It's actually pretty insane. Um, so we have a skeleton task. We're gonna actually go to Varrock and train agility a little bit. 
And then we're gonna do the skeletons, I guess. I am freaking hype. Alright, the first task was completed, and here is a plan. I need 85 combat to take tasks from Neve, and I'm gonna test my luck and see if taking Wildy Slayer tasks will be a good decision or not. Uh, obviously it's gonna be extremely packed, so let's just see what the first task would be. Green Dragons, yeah, you see, I won't do that. I'll just go to the Birth Rope and I'll just do four normal tasks, get 85 Slayer in that time and then just do Slayer normally. The entire wilderness is just too packed by clans, uh, even though you have a chance of receiving... Yeah, this is fucking me up, dude. Uh, you actually have a chance of receiving um, the new weapons, but yeah, I won't be able to do that, unfortunately, as a solo player, so we're just gonna go the normal Slayer route. Uh, anyways... I need, a, I need a new task, yes please. What do we got? Scorpions. Alright, let's do it. If you ever need candle, above the sword shop in Varrock, you can get one for free basically. Pretty cool. We are back at Neve after four skips. If I get a shit task, it will really slow me down, so hopefully we get a good one that we can actually do. And we get cow fights, which we are not going to do, and now we need to skip four more tasks. Which is not ideal, it really is not ideal, but yeah, we cannot do cow fights on Deadman Road. I'll still try to do Wildy Slayer if I get any good tasks, because maybe we get lucky, but damn, I'm really getting put down, like put behind because of those tasks that I'm getting. So, four more skips, Ugh, whatever. Alright, third time's the charm, right? Let's go. Black Dragons, that is actually okay, I can go to Falador and just do that task, that is not bad. Alright, please, this needs to be a good one. That is amazing. Yes, that is so good, actually. Holy shit, I'm so happy. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is where I will end the episode for today. It is currently 4 a.m. and the stats are, as you can see on screen, really, really, really nice. Um, I'll be finishing 55 magic so I can cast High Alchemy while I train. And I'm going to be going for 70 range ASAP to have those Black Dehydes for the magic defense gear. Uh, and after that, just get absolutely max stats. Now, day one, absolute success. I couldn't ask for a better start. So hopefully tomorrow is even better. Hopefully I'll see more of you guys on the live stream over on twitch.tv slash Mika279. And hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Tomorrow is a new one at about, well, the same time as this one goes up. So about 4.30 a.m. Uh, BST, I guess. Um, so very weird times. So you're probably not going to watch it when I upload. But either way... Um, hopefully you enjoyed, I'll see you again tomorrow and uh, we're going for the win.